Hi everyone, this is Dave from the Aviva Insight team. And in this video, I'll give you a quick run through of what exactly you can see of our platform from the online demo that we offer. First up, we access the demo very simply by clicking on the Try It Free button in the middle of the screen. When the demo loads, we're put into the Aviva Insight home screen. This is an adaptive, automatically generated starting point for every user. The main things that we have in the home screen, in the top here is the search box. In the main and left section, we have our suggested content. This is where Insight shows me things that I've recently looked at or created, or somehow may be relevant to me. And in the right hand side, we have what we call our news feed, which is where our machine learning algorithms will highlight out to a user unusual patterns in their data. Now starting to make use of Insight, from the home page, really it's about finding my data. And the starting point for most people will be using search. The search engine of Insight, very powerful, but very simple to use, just like Google or Bing. My data here is about water, so I'm gonna put in the search term water, W-A-T-E-R. And I see Insight start to show me information about water. I have saved content that's got water in its name. Maybe it's been tagged with a keyword of water, but I'm also getting the raw data being presented to me. Tags that are named using the word water. Tags that have come from a source that is about water, or perhaps even based on my security location. So really, I'm starting to deal with my data and all I've done is a search. I didn't need to learn a complex tag naming structure. I didn't need to understand the hierarchy. The search has got me my starting point. To go to the next step, to actually start doing something with the data, can be as simple as clicking on the tags or the content that I'm interested in. So I'm gonna click on source from water. So now Insight has taken me into the explore experience. This is where I work with the results of my search, choosing the tags, setting up the charts and other visualizations that I like. My search results are grouped down the left hand side. In this case, grouped by engineering unit. And I can browse through all of those tags just by clicking on the group I'm interested in. Over on the right hand side, I have these two controls that allow me to choose both the chart type that I want to use, which changes based on the tags that I'm working with, or if I come to this option below, I can turn individual tags on or off in any chart. So the first chart type that I've been shown here is what we call a status board. It gives me a really quick overview of the current state of some tags. I change the chart just by picking a different type. In this case, I'll choose my line chart. Now, not surprisingly, every chart type has options that you would expect. We have the time frame down the bottom. We also have access options available on the left hand side. And for most charts, we also have a zoom control that lets me do pan and zoom. Now to highlight some chart options that you might not expect, I'm going to change the tags that I'm working with. Let's turn off all the inlet tags. And I'll work with some outlet tags. Outlet flow, outlet pressure, and outlet state. And what we can see is that I've got here in my chart the state of that pump or that motor being shown in line with the analog value. That's something pretty unusual that Insight can do, and that can let me understand how changes to state tags or discrete tags can impact or affect analogs that are related to them. Another option that you might not expect is being able to put comments on a chart. I can do that simply by clicking on the add comment, position where I want it, and type in the text for my comment. Something worth highlighting with the comment here is this visible to option that I have at the bottom. This can be very powerful because it lets me share my comments with other people on the Insight system. In this case, I can keep it private, which is visible to me, or I can make it visible to my team. This is where Insight can cross over into that collaboration space and really let users start to work together on solving problems. Now, because I'm working in the demo system, saving of comments has been disabled. So I'm just gonna close this screen and get back to the chart as it was. Coming back to our chart gallery, one chart type that's worth a special mention is our map chart. With the map chart, we can display any type of data onto a map. It doesn't just have to be geospatial data. So long as we know the latitude and longitude of the data source, it can be plotted on the map. So we can see that I have my same Clearwell outlet tags there. What I'll do is I'll deselect uh, state and uh, flow. So I've just got Clearwell outlet pressure. And what I'm going to do is I'll add to my search results a matching tag from another site, uh, Mountain CW pressure. I'll choose that tag and I'll see that it gets added to my results 
and plot it on the map. My all tags count's gone up to 85, and I've got my extra tag on the map. And I can see very quickly that these two plants are behaving differently. That may be the indicator of a problem that I need to look into deeper. While doing all these things on the explore page has been quite simple and painless, I still might find something that's useful that I want to come back to later on. We can do that by clicking on what we call the action button down here, and I can see that I have options to save my piece of content, something to, for me to refer back to later on. I can also download, which will download the data from this chart to a file for me to look at in, uh, say, Excel or Excel Online, my analytical tool of choice. Or I can choose to share it with my colleagues, share to other people in my team. And those options are available for anything that you create on the Explore screen. By choosing either Save or Share, I've ended up creating what we call a piece of saved content. While with this demo system I can't actually make any changes or save anything, I'm going to show you the Save screen because it has one important feature on it, and that is keywords. What I'm literally doing with a keyword is putting something onto that piece of saved content to make it easier for me to find later on. Keywords are completely freeform. I can type whatever I like in here and it just helps in that search engine, helps make this content easier to find later. Any piece of content that I save stays accessible to me from the content dropdown. These here are the pieces of content I've accessed recently. Or I can click on show all content, which will take me to my complete list of content that I've both created for myself or perhaps other users have created and then shared with me. Now a moment ago I mentioned keywords and how they tie into search. To show you that in action, I'm going to do another search again. I'm going to search on the word mountain. And I'll see that at the top of the list here, I've got saved content with a name includes mountain, but I also have this keywords includes mountain. If I click on that, Insight will do a very interesting thing. What it's going to do is pull together every piece of content that's been saved that used that mountain keyword. It's what we think of as an automatically generated dashboard. Literally, to have this screen pop up, all that's happened is I've gone and created those pieces of content and saved them with the mountain keyword. While this dashboard is pretty good, the automatically generated one, I might want to make some changes and tweaks to it. Again, because I'm in the demo scenario, I can't do that, but I can show one that I've looked at and modified previously. If I click on my content dropdown, I'll see that I have some dashboards here. See how they have a slightly different icon. If I choose the mountain water site overview dashboard, I'll get a very nice dashboard view displayed. This was first created just based on that keyword, but I've then gone and modified the layout, changed the sizes of some tiles, moved where they sit, perhaps added some extra things. Adding extra pieces of content, very easy to do through this add content down the bottom. So that would let me put on content, perhaps didn't even use that same keyword, but I've chosen that they somehow relate together. So really with the dashboard, I'm able to combine multiple charts together based on keyword or based on things that I configure to give me that complete overview of what's going on. And of course, like any other uh, piece of content I create in the Explore page, I can save and share this for use later on. Another important feature of Insight is being able to notify a user when the process starts to go wrong. We do that with what we call our alerting engine. Alerts are set up based on a tag to a value and a formula that a user's chosen. I'll show that by going into the Mountain Clearwell Cycles content. That will give me a context of some tags. If I look at my tag list, any tag that I expand out, I can see that I've got this Set Alert option. If I open the dialog up, I can see that I have all of the normal sort of formulas I expect here. Basically, as soon as a tag reaches a limit that I've set or goes beyond a limit I've set, Insight will send me a notification both a push notification through to my mobile phone and also an email if I choose to have that done that way. I can also optionally get an alert when the situation is cleared, when it returns back to normal. Realize that because these alerts are being sent to my mobile phone, they're what we consider personal alerts. Every user in the system can have a different set of alerts if they so choose. Speaking of mobile, brings me to the important companion app to, that we have to Insight, the Insight mobile app, available for download from the iOS and Android store. And of course, we make the same demo experience available on the mobile phone. I access that by tapping on the Try It Now. And what I'll see is that every piece of content that's been created in the demo experience is accessible to me on the mobile phone. I see the list of content I have here. Uh, we were looking earlier at the Valley Clearwell cycles. 
so if I scroll down, I can see that I've got Valley Clear Well Cycles here as a piece of content. I can tap on that, and I have the content loaded to me in the same view, the same line chart, the same tag as what I had in the web browser inside of Insight. And we also have the mapping experience available on the mobile phone as well. The same basic functionality that you have in the web browser, we bring that to the mobile phone. One little bonus on the mapping feature on the mobile is the fact that we also have the satellite view available to us. This will be coming to the browser experience very soon, but this is one area where the mobile phone app at the moment is slightly ahead of the web browser. In this video, I've shown you a quick overview of the functionality of the Insight platform that you can see from our public demo. It's very easy to use. The term that we internally use is frictionless. But no matter how frictionless or smooth we make a product, documentation and training is also important. In Insight, we have that accessible through two main ways what we call Discover Insight, which is a page all designed around bringing the first time user, taking them through the onboarding experience and getting them set up and going with Insight. This is all task oriented to guide people through a task. For example, creating a chart. If I click on create a chart, we have the Insight Assistant appear, which will guide me through step by step in real time, helping me create a chart, right from beginning to use the search. The last but not least is our demo banner, shown at the top of the screen here, with this nice friendly sign up button in the right. When you click on that, we'll give you a free 45 day unrestricted trial to use Insight, understand its features, and get business benefit from it using your own data. So I encourage you to go to connect.aviva.com slash insight and see what you can start doing today. Thanks for watching.